Hey everyone, Cody from Mac Telecom Networks. I've had quite a few of my customers ask me if we could use a Unify Talk phone at a remote site. And although Ubiquity doesn't fully support this, we can do it. And I'm gonna show you how to do it in this video. If you're new here, please subscribe and hit the bell icon. If you'd like to hire me for network consulting or Unify Talk Consulting, visit www.mactelecomnetworks.com. You'd find me on Twitter at MacTelecomN. And if you'd like to support the channel, the best way to do that is to use my Ubiquity affiliate link, which will be in the description. So there's a few things that we need to do to get this to work. One of those things is to have a site-to-site -site VPN between our remote site and our main site. So this is the topology that we'll be working with. Here I have a Unify Talk controller sitting at my main site on my UDM SE. I have two different ISPs coming into the house. So we'll have a UDR acting as the remote site and we'll put a phone there and that will be talking back to the main controller on the UDM SE. One thing to note, we need to put the phones into our main controller when we're locally at the site where the main controller is. And then we bring that phone over to the remote site and make sure that it has communication back to the main controller for it to work. So the first thing that we need to do is set up our site-to-site -site VPN before getting the phone adopted and get it working on the remote site. So I'm on the main site right now, which will be hosting our Unify Talk controller. This is my Mac Telecom SE UDM. If we go into our settings and then go to teleport and VPN and scroll to the bottom, we could see site-to-site -site VPN. We're gonna create a new site-to-site -site VPN. Then at the top, it's gonna to show us a bunch of things. It's gonna ask us for our network name. I'll call this VoIP test. And we have our VPN protocol. So this will be a manual IPsec site-to-site -site VPN. We need to put in a pre-shared key. I'll just put in test1234 for the purpose of this video, but you're going to wanna to make sure it's a strong password. The next is the server address, and this is just gonna pull your WAN1 IP. It's blurred out for obvious reasons. You could also enter an IP manually if you'd like. And then we have our remote gateways and subnets. The remote subnet on the UDR side that we're gonna to wanna to reach is 192.168.1.0 24. So we'll enter that in. Now that that's created, we need to put the remote IP address. So this is the public IP address of our UDR. And once the remote IP address is put in, we could press add network, or you could customize all these different fields, the IPsec profile, the route distance, key exchange version. We're just gonna leave it at default for this video. Then we need to go to the UDR and do the exact same steps. Now we're on my UDR and we need to set up the site to site information. So we'll call this VoIP test. The VPN protocol will be manual IPsec, and then we need to have the same pre-shared key. So test one, two, three, four. Again, it will show us our WAN one IP, or you can manually enter it. And then we have our shared subnets, which I'm gonna wanna reach 192.168.80.0 slash 24. And once I put that in, we're gonna have to do our remote IP, and then we're gonna add the new VPN network. Next up is to see if the site-to-site -site VPN is working. So on the right side, we have my command prompt, which is for my UDM SE. And if we ping 192.168.1.1, we should be reaching the UDR. And we could see that we're getting ping replies. Now on the UAP InWall HD, this is on my UDR side. So we should be able to ping 192.168.80.1. And we could see that's going through. So that site to site VPN is up and running. Now we need to adopt a phone into our Unify Talk controller at our main site, which is the UDM SE. Now we're in Unify Talk on my UDM SE and we could see this UTP touch. I'm gonna click assign and we're gonna assign this to Cody McCallum. And then we're gonna pick the one phone number that I have, or you could set it to none internal calls only. We will put another phone on the main site with internal calls only so that we could see extension to extension calling through that site to site VPN. And then I'll press the sign. The UTP touch is now adopted into our Unify Talk controller. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna unplug it from the switch that's connected to the UDM SE, and then we're gonna connect it to the back of the UDR. After I plug it into the UDR with that site to site VPN up, we should see the UTP touch come back into the controller. So now the talk phone is connected to my UDR and we could see that here. We could see the phone touch is connected, default network, and it's getting a gigabit experience. If we go back to our Unify talk, we could see that the UTP touch is still active on this talk controller. Now I'm gonna dial the number that I have associated with Unify talk and this phone should ring. And we could hear that that's ringing. 
Now we've adopted a UTP TouchMax into our talk controller and have assigned it to John Snow at extension 0004. If we dial that from our main phone, we will be able to hit this extension and that is going through that site to site VPN. So let's try it out. So I'm gonna dial 0004 and then we'll press call. And we can now hear that ringing at the other end. So that's going to be it for this Unify Talk remote user setup. Hopefully Ubiquity integrates this right into Unify Talk so that we can bring the phones to site and then provision them into a remote controller. If you have any questions about this video, please leave it in the comments below. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button. If you're new here, please subscribe and hit the bell icon. All right, thanks.